Again? Oh, one last thing I want to talk about is, uh, so we turned our paperwork in late, so we didn't get full hookups. So this was our first experience boondocking. And um, uh, we learned a lot of stuff. We learned more about our rig by boondocking. Um, and I learned that uh, a week is good. I don't want to do boondock more than that. I'm a glamper. I'm, I'm not ashamed to say it. I'm a glamper. A week boondocking uh, is okay. I can do it. I can do it. And especially if we were like, maybe at the beach or something like that. Uh, but um, I like my hookups. So everybody's different. Everybody, uh, there was one couple there. They were going, they, how many days was, they went boondocking? 200, we're, that one couple, 200 and some days. Um, what couple is that? The one with the kids. Oh yeah, they 220 days out of the year. Yeah, so you know everybody's different, but anyways, it was a good experience to boondock, and I and I, it, it didn't kill me, but um, I know when I when it's time to hook up. <laughs> but so anyways, that, I have that's all I have to say. That was a good experience for us because we learned a lot about boondocking and how to conserve and um, and, and you know and to survive out there. And one thing for sure is our generator is a must. And uh, we learn also that a solar can help too to keep your batteries charged. So we're looking into that down the road. But uh, I did go to uh, boondocking seminars while I was there at Escape Aid. And like Pam was saying, that couple that they're a family of six kids, uh, they travel and work on the road and um, they boondock 220 days out of the year. And they love it. They really love it. And so anyway, I got a lot of information from them and some from other people too about boondocking and how to survive out there and make it fun. They swear that once you learn it, you learn all the tricks that you're going to love it. You know, so uh, because there's places that you can just go that's so beautiful that you can't do it, you know, like being in an RV park, but just being out there by yourself. And so anyway... So that was good to go to those RV seminars, um, boondocking seminars, and uh, I learned a lot, and Pam learned a lot too. So like she said, if we have to boondock again uh, for fun, which we probably will, and uh, with other uh, couples and maybe a club, uh, you know, we know what to do. Here's Pam again. Okay.